What's up folks, welcome back, we are playing X4, now I um, I did do some off camera work because I uh, wanted to make sure that uh, we actually had something to show uh, and have a, uh, a bit of a passive income during the uh, the next following episodes where we will be uh, focusing more on the, uh, the storyline, so... Let me show the galaxy for so far, because uh, what I've done is I've been, well, pretty much been exploring everywhere, dropping, like, resource satellites and stuff like that, so I actually know where I can send my ships, and uh, so far we, uh, I've managed to get satellites everywhere, and you can also see that we are, we are just shy 1.5 million, and we are going to be using that to actually create a few more ships and setting them up in uh, repeat orders is this not being updated why is that it's out of date refresh your data initial oh is it out huh that's weird Entering uranus that is slightly awkward okay let me uh let me rectify that let's get my scout who i've just been Allowing to hop. Where are you actually? Before I make a mess of things. Here we go. Uh, he's going around every known station. Docking. And uh, revisiting all of them all the time. So uh, you can see that he is actually now planning on probably going towards his medical station. But I'm going to sure send you. Where was that again? Where was that? Uh, here. Uh, you can actually see. Because it's so grayed out. So let's go collect this deployable. And... Once he has that, we actually have a regular satellite. We'll place it in closer and we'll have the scout doing it. The scout is actually in a, a very, very cool ship because it is just way faster than the one we're actually flying. And I quite like just looking at it like this. You know, it is such a fun game. If you haven't already, just, just go ahead, pick it up and see how, <laughs> how wonderful the other pilot is. Um, but no, so... What I want to do, and I've noticed, I've noticed, and like in the Terran Empire, but there's been a lot of fighting here. Uh, the, the Xenons actually build a station in here, and the Terrans build a, a massive defensive platform here, which is absolutely cool. I actually had my miner set up in this region, but as you can see there, uh, ore is 0 0.11 and silicon is 0 0.065 and over here it is uh it is not better anyway so then now over here in this region it's not the best it definitely is not the best because the sil silicon is 1.3 and the ore is 1.3 uh, 0.3 it's not a huge problem, but we're definitely not going to send more ships. Both of them are mining in this region, and we are now going to build two more ships. One ore, one silicon. They will probably have around this uh, resource probe. So um, let's get started by buying ships. And I like small ships. I like small ships because they don't cost as much. And they still generate about... Like, like silicon is generating about 80,000. And ore is about 35. So also, look at these ships, man. These ships are so damn cool. Uh, actually, this is the ship that your wingmate will be flying in when you start a game. So that is quite nice. And this is our ship. The three weapons. It is so nice. I like... Usually I'm all about... You know, there, there's this, this line in the middle. And, and just, just mirroring what is on the other side. But I like this, this, this playful design. I really do. Uh, we have the interceptor. Which is... Uh, interesting. Let me just say interesting. I can't really say that... There is a certain thing to it which I like, and that's the rear here. Um, not so keen on the front, and it is actually the, the scout who's even more bulky. Uh, I'm not sure why why they chose this design. They could have some, definitely did something cooler with it. Um, but uh, we are going to be... This is the courier. We'll eventually have probably a small or a medium, but I need a level 3 pilot. And the level 3 pilot is uh, for the uh, the auto mining. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to be building... Let's go with minimum. 
because they don't need they don't really need like combat and they can just do with all round engines they don't need to be the fastest do I need shields on this? No, probably not, because they won't get into a problem. What you don't want to forget is, uh, is actually the, the mining lasers. Let's take a look here. Effective range is 3 kilometers, so that doesn't change. Something here changes. Shield damage. Hull damage. Um, okay. Okay. So it, it's three times as powerful, I would assume. Oh, wrong button there. Uh, let's go back over towards the station. And the reason we can actually buy this uh, right now is because we have a satellite over there. So, yeah, let's go back. Small, mineral, and we'll just do this, this. Get the shield one, and... For well, something that is three times as good, Entering we don't really belt. need it. So we'll, we'll just go with the Mark 1s. Eventually, once once we have our own stations, once we are um, trying to supply our own stations with resources, we'll definitely go like large uh, loadout. Uh, we don't... Well, I kind of like docking software Mark 2. Uh, flight assistant we need. One scanner. Basic. And targeting computer the trading one i usually do pick up it's not really mandatory the consumables i'm not going to bother with it we could put in flares but if it goes it goes and we'll do a pilot with service crews because what i want is the service crew to level up and the way we do that is just having them aboard a ship doing tasks their morale will go up eventually we flip them into pilots and we can give them pilot seminars and they will just go like crazy so this is going to be the loadout we're going to have two two for now because i don't want to lose all of my cash i want to save up because eventually eventually i want a new ship so we're going to be placing that as you can see we're just nearly there and we'll be landing here at the uh, the terra orbital supply station because there is actually a mission and i've actually taken a few missions on here that we can do if um, if i decide that i'm done with the, the storyline for for a bit and we just want to do a few missions uh, one of them is actually going in here in this uh, territory this conflicted territory and place some mines near the jump gate sure we can do that and um, is it being attacked I thought it was just um, shaking. If you see something shaking, it's it's usually that the, the base is under attack. And that's going to be interesting to see. But I really like that they built this. Now, what we want to do is generate enough. And what I should probably do as well is try to get towards the faction representative. Which is, by the looks of it, over here. Try to level up and... I've noticed by looking at the stations, there is hardly any hull parts. Um, who would hull? Uh, trade filters off. Like, there is something going on over here. Why does it say hull over in this region? Not particularly sure. But so far, I've yet to discover a hull part factory in this uh in this sector so if we can get ourselves a mining station set up and we can do ore into refined metals we can probably get um, a great amount of cash by trading hull parts and stuff like that hull parts is just used with everything so i want to save up my money we'll get a plot i've also looked at the venus system because if you look at the venus system and you go close this off please can we just get Turn that off. Sunlight. 190%. And looking at these factories, and we can't really see it, is... I don't... Oh, this is not the right factory. You dum-dum. Let's go to the right factory, and you'll see that there is actually a bonus. Logical overview. And it says here, sunlight, 190%. So, I'm assuming that there is a bonus to this. Um, having your own solar power plant is not generating you a lot of money, but it is definitely going to be 
easier for you to construct uh, stations in the future without the cost of so much money. Uh, for now, we'll just go and stations and ships. So by the looks of it, they are already waiting here in Mars. We are going to be doing the repeat orders. Hopefully these uh, pilots are skilled enough. Uh, he is a level one, so that's going to be going lovely. You could go with the auto trade. No, actually, no, uh, with uh, auto uh, mine. But it won't go from one system to the other one. The repeatable options in that uh, sense is just amazing. Once you click that, you will need to confirm. And once it's confirmed, you're just going to say, I want you to go into the general vicinity. I want you to mine silicon. Now, if you at some point want to change the location of this, what you just do is you hover over it and you click and drag. And we can just put it right over there. So we want it to go there. And once it is done, there is... Let me turn on my trading filters again. But where's silicon over there? No. I think it's over here. Yeah, at 150. It is this component. So then we go here and we'll say uh, we're going to be selling. We are going to go with silicon. I don't care about the price. And you do not keep anything of it and confirm that. So it will now go and mine. And then it will go back and sell. And it will do that automatically. You will have to eventually... You, sometimes you'll need, need to look how your ships are doing. Also, I used to kind of like changing my names to small silicon miner and just click in here and then it will actually save uh, just going towards my property list you can see we have two of them and i don't care about if it's one or two eventually it doesn't really matter so just just make sure you know which one it is so if you go over to the asteroid belt one we go to information and we say transaction log you can see that it generates every let's just say every 20 ish minutes uh, 82,000 credits. So it would just do its thing every 20 minutes. So it makes you about well, 200 and... Oh my god. Uh, 8, 16, 20, 240,000 credits in an hour. The ship costing you 300. So in about two hours, you will definitely have a profit on it. If it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. Nobody actually cares about that. The other ship which we are going to be setting up, we're going to be doing the, the, the same the same way. Uh, let's turn off this filter. And it is this one because the name hasn't changed. We're going to change this into a small or minor. behavior and you can actually see that the pilot is not skilled enough to do the repeat orders so i've docked at this station what we'll do is we will head over to the uh, the trade district also keep an eye over to these guys and if you spot a level three pilot um if you have the credits go ahead and just 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 get him Get it. It's it's worth it because um, currently spent thirty five hours, nineteen hours in total, just letting the game go, and we have not yet received a level three pilot. So let's go over here towards the traders corner. Oh, wow, the game is acting really slowly this time. I'm not particularly sure why. Can we craft anything by any chance? Mm, no, not yet. I do like to buy the stuff from the uh, the, the trade corner, there which I don't have. If it, that's why I usually have like five of them, and I'm not going to do bomb launches. That's way too expensive. I'm not sure if I'd really need it. A hand laser, sure we can pick that up. Why not? Should we just pick it up as well? You know what? Let's get our hand bomb laser. We'll have everything for our spacesuit upgrades. So we don't have to worry about that. And there are basic seminars. We're going to be buying. Sorry. We, he can't. If we don't have. Oh, that is. That is annoying. Hopefully we do have enough to actually just, you know, 
get the rest of them. I do like to purchase all of them. And we have some carbon fiber here. Let's go ahead and just pick up five. Uh, we'll do that with all of that. And we'll uh, we'll take a look at the crafting bench again to see if, uh, if there's anything we can do. I don't think there is a maximum over here. So that, that you don't have to be too careful with your inventory space. I kind of hope that is the case, though. If it's uh, if it's not, then Good do let me know. There. So, let's go over here towards the crafting bench again. Let's see if there's actually anything that changed. Doesn't look like it. Eventually, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be able to craft this. Now, also, you can build a Sita of the crafting bench. So, don't, don't go selling off all of those items right away. Don't do that. So, now we're back in the ship using the uh, Shift D button. We'll go into our uh, property owned. And we know that this or miner, because he's not there. We're going to go into comms. We're giving him a pilot seminar. And now he should be level 1. There you go, level 1. So, let's go into behavior. Repeat orders. Press confirm. Not that. I just... No. Really hate it when I do that. Asteroid belt. We can also do it from this angle. Maybe I should just do it from this area. So. Behavior. Repeat orders. Confirm. Then. Mine. Or... And I like to um, kind of hover these over there. And then I want you to sell at the same base over here. So sell to... Or I don't care about the price. We just want money. And it will start doing so. You can actually see it is currently undocking. And the other mining ship... Let's take a look if we go to information. This one has 180. Is this the new one? No, this is actually the old one. Something is happening over here. Hmm. Doesn't look like that. Show more. No, it is weird. I don't know why that was down there. Maybe it's because it is currently mining. If you go to the other, the other one, it is uh, still going to search for us. It sometimes takes a bit of time before it actually does something and it is actually i think it actually is going to some region and you will start seeing the cargo fill up as you can see transactions he has none but now we have four ships um, every one of them so the silicon miners will produce 240 and for the small ores uh let's go transaction log it will generate damn so in an hour one two three four five uh, six times 32 oh my uh, let's do it easier let's do it six times 30 so it's also 24 right 6 12 18 18 so 18 and 240 is just around 430 ish you probably i don't want to do the math guys so We'll create a ship every hour. And now we have two of them. So we almost generate a million per hour. And that is what we need if we want to start doing those stations. So that is all it. I'm also trying to get this guy up to level 3. Now, I know that Can I have I piloting seminars, but I cannot give him any more. So I've heard that leveling up a guy on the station works best. But if you have advice so on how to level up our guys to level three do do let me know very very interested in that uh, for now let us head over to the faction representative and let's actually get started on the uh, the next mission uh secret service bureau we might have to activate the uh, the mission uh before we can actually let her do anything let's take a look if it actually is the case see you operative Ready for your next mission? Yes. Now, I would like to talk to you about this so-called Project Genesis. That's the codename of a top-secret operation that the Sigaris pioneers are cooking up. We certainly know more about it than they would like, but we remain in the dark when it comes to their ultimate goal. 
We do know that it involves a facility in their space with an unknown purpose. Fortunately for us, there seems to have been an incident, and the station was evacuated until repairs could be carried out. This is a short-lived opportunity to gather intel. As such, we've taken action to inject false security documents into a Pioneer database. Congratulations, Operative. You're now a qualified Pioneer Engineer First Class. You are set to join one of their engineering teams to repair that facility. During the operation, gather whatever information you can, but use your discretion. Just follow along with their instructions and you'll be fine. The team is gathering in Neptune. Uh, you can actually turn off the hot by using shift H. Uh, I will have to re try to remember doing that next time. So uh, we can just witness everything in full glory. Let's put it back in there. We are... Uh... Sorry for that. Let's go shift D. We're back at our ships. And we're not going to fly anything, right? We'll let this guy do it. Also, our scout should be... Oh, yeah, of course, I'm an idiot. Uh, let's go to behavior and oh you can actually set like a radius so it would start visiting all of these but we're going to be stopping uh, whatever it is that it is doing remove all current orders and i don't think it actually did the mission that we uh we send it out to do oh it did look at that so go here civilian and use a satellite and then once he's done can i do it like i want you to go and come back over here and dock and wait so that is what will happen we are also going over towards this region so instead of me flying i do really like this guy to do everything for me i'm really lazy if it comes to that and uh, because i do want to level this guy up so let's get over here and give him the order to you need to click the ship though i want you to dock and wait over there and all of these will eventually start generating money we're at 712 currently and i do believe that will um change are you doing anything for me, mate? Let's see. What are you doing? He is going to undock. So that should be uh, shortly. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, we are being attacked. The station was being attacked. That is uh, interesting. Um, these guys... He's actually docking, so we'll just get the 31. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at our other vessels. Press information. So this is the small ore one. And the silicon one is already starting to fill up. Once we have our station, like I said, we're going to go at least minimum ships. I like to go really overboard with this. And I would like to get myself a ship that could potentially hold its own it looks like my satellite was taken out near the argon defense the uh, platform uh, it happens i'm quite surprised they did not take out any of my resource probes though so yeah this uh, this defense platform it is actually still being built this this piece they just added i really like that the game is just building this up right this station wasn't here uh, when we were in this region and it started off by the docking port and eventually it just built out until it i think this 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 there's room for four large or extra large ships so yeah definitely definitely cool on that and then uh, actually that menu you'll see quite often now currently our pilot is nearing two and a half stars but it just takes forever so like i said Entering save up money belt. and keep your eyes open if you see that level three pilot get him get him immediately and worry about the costs later because 
once we get like an auto trader there's actually a lot of things that we can do um now we're going to be supplying what base again i believe it's this one over here and i don't think i can actually see the logical overview so it is generating a certain uh, commodity a certain good can we just stay with our ship here please thank you um yeah over here so if you go towards your trade office um it is probably yeah sell of the 150 so it, it is uh creating computer um substrate substrate i can't pronounce that whatever um uh, go compute does it really say nothing no there we go so it's uh, it sells these is there a place where they potentially buy it medical supplies yeah look we're just missing a lot of these change um Let's take a look. What else do we have? Energy, credits. Maybe these would be the met metallurgic. Um, Entering Jupiter. Oh. I should turn off my caps. Metal. That should be enough to actually... Um... Okay, maybe not. My Maybe micro... Can we just do it? Let's go into our filterings. And I want to look for... Metal... There you go. Put that on like that. Press OK. And so it sells here uh, at 51. It buys. Look at that. That is a joke. That is such a joke. I don't like that at all. 39. Here. No, uh, no. Neither as well. So it's going to be quite difficult to actually get a, uh, a auto trader up in this region. Hmm. Energy credits. Protein paste. Do it like this. Silicon carbonate. Or 1385. Now, don't forget, you will also get a discount for Entering being Saturn. Terran. Let's get those in the list as well. I didn't know you could actually just click it, so I've learned something today. Like, get the medical supplies in there as well. But your auto trader will actually find these uh, by himself. He doesn't need um, human interference and guidance. And there's actually nothing over here. Uh, once we'll get those stations running, we can probably do a lot with that. But as you can see, there are no uh, components being constructed here that will actually help us by, uh, with the, uh, the construction of bases and ships. So that's going to be quite expensive, which is not something I like. But you can see over here now, we're making 112, probably silicon miners. There's one docking. And here is one docking. Docking and docked. Let's go information. And now in the behave you can see he's docking. He will dock and wait. And now he's executing trade. And once he's done, he will undock and go back to mining. And it's the same over here. So we will see that amount of cash really, really skyrocketing. Now, I know I've talked a lot during this episode and... Um, next time, guys, we are going to get started on the missions. I might or might not try to help the, uh, the others by uh, seeing if we can actually get some hydrogen going. And just making sure we get the, the basic liquids. And maybe get some of these uh, miners over here that... Uh, uh, let's see... Helium and Hydrogen. Mm. Helium. Hydrogen. 
So it is being bought over there. Not the most in number. 62. Yeah. Maybe we could do hydrogen. There's actually about... Let's take a look here. we got one base over here that requires it. And we're actually filling that one up. And there is... No, that's only oh, that one over there. Hydrogen over here. You probably want silicon and... Oh, yeah, the others are selling there. Yeah, we'll probably get one or two hydrogen ships as well. And fill that up at least until the towards the bases we are currently helping and maybe this will help the Entering economy but as long as we make money i think it's a great thing so we'll probably set those up uh, somewhere in the next uh, few episodes uh luckily we are almost there uh i'm going to tell this guy to get out of my chair hello yeah get out <laughs> and Disengage the autopilot. Please don't do that. Engage. Autopilot. Disengage. Disengaged. Let's go over here. And I will uh, not go towards the Okinawa. ship yet. Research. Um, we're just going factory. to do... Can we dock here? No. I'll just hover around here. And I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.